Oh, Konami, you guys will just never learn, will you? So during a stage presentation at the 2016 Tokyo Game Show, they were showing off uh, Kojima's new game, Death Stranding. Uh, he made several comments regarding the new Metal Gear Survive, which is apparently uh, Konami is making this shitty zombie action game set in the Metal Gear universe. So anyway, uh, he made several comments regarding it, and um, I agree with him 110%. So here's what I have to say. The Metal Gear games are about political fiction and espionage. He continues, where do zombies fit in with that? Exactly. He also made uh, some jokes saying stuff like, if I had worked on that game, it would have mechs in it or something. <laughs> so, Kojima, you basically took the words right out of my mouth. Now, there have been other theories going around and things to try to justify why this game even exists. There was one theory that was pretty popular among people saying that this was like a spin-off game that Kojima had been working on that he kind of shoved to the side or that he kept secret about and never really brought up too much. Uh, that theory is pretty much thrown out the window because of one comment he made. So he asked if the idea for Survive had come from himself. He replied saying, that's nothing to do with me. So yeah, that, that theory is pretty much thrown out the window. Kojima never ever intended a game like this to be made, nor would he ever think it would be good. So, <laughs> Kojima, you're, you're, you're basically taking the words right out of my mouth, and, I mean, it should be self-explanatory that this is going to be a shitty game. Now, here's the thing. While the gameplay may not be that bad, the fact that Konami is slapping the Metal Gear name on it is insulting. Ko Kojima said himself, the man... The, cre the creator, the holy grail of Metal Gear, if you will, whatever you want to call it, said himself that it doesn't look good. I mean, what more exposition do you need than that? Now, there's some other type of speculation going around. You know, people are trying to justify this game's existence because, you know, as soon as they see the word Metal Gear, they just start sucking its cock right away. They don't actually understand the whole background of it. So a lot of people are trying to defend this saying... Well, Kojima wasn't the only person working on Metal Gear. He had many other people that he was working on with these games for several years, and they probably know what they're doing, and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So here's my argument with that. So, first of all, yes, Kojima has worked on the Metal Gear franchise for many years, and he, of course, you know, wasn't the only person working on it. That being said, he was probably the most important aspect of it because he spent years writing the story for these games, creating the characters, overseeing how gameplay was, everything. He was a huge part of it. And he basically had him and his staff, and he told his staff how to properly make them. Now that he's gone, even if those other people he's worked on in the past several times with these games... Konami is now overseeing all of those guys and basically telling them what to do. So they really don't have a choice. They're just going to have to listen to the greedy corporate assholes that, you know, the head honchos leading Konami. They're basically going to have to listen to those guys. You know, those, those dumbass corporate guys are just like, look, zombies are really popular in the gaming industry and we want to try to appeal to the mainstream audience, so just make a generic zombie game and put survival in it. Make it like a survival co-op game with zombies and, you know, lean more towards action than anything else. We'll call this a spin-off game. Even if it's like a regular spin-off game and even if the gameplay will be good, like even if it's going to be just fun to play itself, the fact that Konami is just slapping the Metal Gear name on it is insulting. Plain and simple. I mean, look at it this way. What are some of your guys' most favorite uh, games out there? I know another popular one, Konami Way, was Silent Hill. Imagine if the next Silent Hill game came out, and it was heavy action-oriented. You know, it was, it was basically like a Gears of War shooter. How would you feel? Would you be okay with that? Even if they said, oh, this is a spinoff? No. You definitely would not be okay with that. And I mean, just like... Imagine the next Elder Scrolls game being a puzzle game. Or imagine Mass Effect Andromeda or whatever the next Mass Effect game will be after that. It's just going to be this 
2D platforming game. <laughs> I mean, I really don't don't see the point of spelling it out. I mean, most people already gear with me when I made my reaction video and I made a pretty angry rant about it, so go ahead and check that out. A link for it's going to be in the description as well. But there's really no reason to justify this game to exist. Its only purpose is a cash grab. That's all I say from it, and that's the only reason why I think it exists. And the sad part is, this game probably will make money. Just because as soon as people see Metal Gear, they just blindly buy it without even knowing. You know, a freaking monkey could have designed the game, but just because Metal Gear is on it, they're going to just automatically buy it. Just because it has the words Metal Gear on it. I mean, no matter how you look at it, it's going to make money, period. It's the sad truth, but it is what it is. Whatever. And Konami sees that. They, they really don't give a shit. They're saying, we have the Fox engine, we have the Metal Gear license, and we have some of the people K Kojima worked with for several years. So fuck what the fans think. Let's just do what we want. Fuck it. Like, that's that's all I see out of it. Ah, <sighs> Konami. It's... It angers me and it saddens me to see what you've become. When I was a kid, some of my most all-time favorite games was Castlevania. I fucking loved those games as a kid. And Silent Hill, again, great games. And it's just such a shame to see what they've become. They just do not give a fuck about their franchises anymore. First Silent Hill, and now Metal Gear. And it's surprising how people are still defending this, even though Konami basically said, Go fuck yourselves. I mean, they might as well have. Did they literally say that? No, but they might as well have. Treating their employees like shit, and more importantly, their customers like shit. They don't give a fuck about any of us, and they are just so out of the blue with the gaming industry, and they think they know what appeals to us, and they really don't. They should have sticked with what made Metal Gear great, and they're just not doing that. Plain and simple. I have no idea what people are... Some people are defending this, but... For those of you that are, just understand that there have been long-term Metal Gear fans out there that have pretty much gotten game after game after game of just epicness. I mean, every single Metal Gear game that me and many other my friends that are Metal Gear fans have uh, played growing up, it almost seemed like every single game was getting better, and it only seemed, you know, as for a foreseeable future... You, things will only get better, but we are solely disappointed by that because of what Konami has become. They kicked Kojima out, they've pr pretty much done a whole 180 of how their entire company works. You know, they're a bunch of greedy, self-absorbed assholes. They really do not give a fuck about any of us. I think I hate Konami more than EA. Actually, no, I do hate Konami more than EA. I mean, at least EA is pretty open about, like, yes, there's going to be microtransaction in this game. Yes, there's going to be DLC. At least they're open to that stuff. But Konami, they're like, oh, we don't give a fuck. Deal with it. They don't give a fuck, and we're just going to do whatever the fuck we want to do your stupid games. You know? They don't care about the Metal Gear franchise. It's such a shame. But Kojima, you basically took the words out of mine and pretty much every other Metal Gear fan's mouth. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. I think this is pretty funny and not really that surprising. I'm really not surprised at all that Kojima didn't think of this idea to release a game like this. This is definitely not what he had in mind when he thinks of Metal Gear. <laughs> I don't think anybody has for that matter. So let me know what you guys think of this. I'll, like I said, I'll leave the links below to the article and my reaction video in the description. If you guys could, please leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, be sure to sub to the Triple G.